live partition mobility is a feature of the PowerVM virtualization technology on IBM Power System servers. It allows the migration of a virtual server from one physical system to another, with the applications running without service interruption or impact to the users. This feature, along with other PowerVM features, is described in detail in the PowerVM virtualization managing and monitoring Redbook. In this video, we demonstrate how to perform a live migration using the hardware management console interface. We have two systems here, Power Systems Model 740 and 750, where several partitions are running, and we will migrate partition 6 from the Power 740 to the Power 750. We select the checkbox for partition 6, and a context menu shows up where we can select Operations, Mobility, Validate. We must validate the migration operation before actually migrating the partition. When we press the Validate button, it runs several configuration checks to make sure the requisites for the live partition migration are satisfied. When the validation succeeds, the Migrate button that was grayed out before becomes available and we can start the migration process. The amount of time it takes for the whole process depends on the memory size, partition configuration, and network speed. However, that has no influence in the application availability, since the partition keeps running normally during the migration process. The pop-up window shows the status of the migration and the progress indicator. Meanwhile, we see on the HMC that the partition is the migrating state on both source and target systems. During this process, one virtual server on each system is performing the memory copy for that partition through the network. For the users running applications in the partition being migrated, there are no changes. While the partition memory is being copied, all processes, network connections and I.O. activity behave the same way, as the activity related to the migration process is handled by the virtual server. Should the process be interrupted manually, or because of an external event, such as a network outage, the migration process is cancelled and the partition remains running on the source system. After the cause of the event is corrected, the migration process can then be restarted. When almost all of the partition memory has been copied, the partition is suspended on the source system and resumed on the target system. This step happens in less than two seconds, and from the user perspective, only a slight delay is noticed. After the partition is resumed on the target system, the partition profile is removed from the source system. The partition remains running all the applications it was running before the migration without any impact to the user. <laughs>